Okay guys, so that other job, yeah, we actually never got paid for it. So just to let you know a heads up. So I started this uh, this other wall over here. Let me show you. Okay, see I'm painting it blue. Okay, but see this is the problem that I'm having. There's screws in the wall. Okay, that's the first thing you do when you paint. You leave the screws all in the wall. You don't do putty. See all the holes everywhere guys? That's what the customer likes. You got no choice to do that, so you don't have to remove the screws from the wall. As you can see, it makes a nice, you know, standout decoration. So if you want to hang something up, for an example, you know what I mean? If I want to, like, hold on a second, I'll explain that to you. While you're painting and you got nowhere to put your brush, look. Look. See? Then you can grab your roller like this. You gotta dip it in the paint a little bit. I know my last video I said not to use the big rollers, but see, then you can just start rolling the wall without sanding it, without, you know what I mean? You leave all the holes in the wall. You continue like this and you put on this blue, like this. Now, since I got fed up with the roller, see all the blotches that I leave on the wall? That's how you have to do it, look. See, it gives like a decoration on it. So then now, I'm fed up with my roller, so I put it down, grab the paintbrush that I put on the wall where the screw is, okay? and then I could use it. And once I just keep on putting it back there. So it's good, I'm gonna leave that for the clients. Maybe if they ever repaint it, they'll wanna do the same thing. So that's the worst painter, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you have to touch the ceilings, by the way. It makes a nice finishing touch. So when you're bored at night and you're looking up there, you'll be like, well, you know, you can count the, the spots, you know what I mean? When you're really bored, it's like in jail when you're there and you'll have to count in your cell. So that gives a nice finish. And the cobwebs, you leave it there. That's the best part, you see, look. The cobwebs, you have to leave them there. You just paint over them, see? You just, you'll put them on the brush and you just, it gives a nice finishing touch, guys. Okay, I'm out.